Welcome to Redneck Outfitters, where the labor's cheap and the advice is free. Thanks for joining us. Redneck Outfitters 1. Um, today we're working on the bug again and uh, putting in some of these seals. Um, hopefully that won't go too bad. Um, I put the front seal in here on the trunk or whatever the hell you want to call it. Front hood. I've heard it called both. Uh, I put it in last week. It didn't go in too bad. There's three little prongs that are supposed to go in these holes down there. And you try to pull them through there and of course it rips the rubber off. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with that. Uh, it don't look too bad. But uh, today I'm going to get the uh, rear seals in on the uh, firewall, the engine compartment there, uh, probably the deck lid. Uh, and then we'll go from there and see what what kind of time we got. So, you know, little things that just need to be done. Uh, you know, I put the key switch in the other day, and uh, a modified key switch, I guess you'd call it. It's not an original. It's not a remake. It's uh, all the crap I tried to come up with that didn't work too well. So anyway, I put my own key switch in there, own ignition switch, and uh, it's working fine as far as continuity and what not to what wires I need to get it to. So uh, I'm gonna have to make something on the dash to kind of cover that up. Where I cut the hole for the dash, uh, there wasn't a hole there in the 68 so I got that to take care of too uh, I'll ram rummage around here and see if I can come up with something to cover that up a, li a little bit kind of a cover plate or what have you so that's all that's the agenda for today thanks for joining us don't forget like us if you want subscribe if you'd like and uh, you'll be notified anytime we put up a new video and like I always said, it's not just cars, it's not just the bug project, uh, there's a little bit on the 8 end, there's a little bit on hunting, there's a little bit on goofing off, and, and a little bit of something for everybody. So, join us, have a laugh or what have you. So, we'll get back to the bug, and uh, always remember, if it can't be fixed, it can be modified.
But I got it in there. Uh, sometimes my body's my own worst enemy. After uh, three spinal surgeries, carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel, all that good stuff, and almost 60 years old. So some places you get into and you get to tugging, and it's like, oh, this ain't gonna work. I gotta take a break. I gotta figure something out. <clears throat> so that's why I grabbed the pliers and the hammer to kind of help knock that alone instead of trying to pull it uh, it was a lot easier on me one thing you want to remember is these lips right here and on the bottom if you bent those out to get that in there make sure you hammer them back in so that seal will stay tight uh, you know it, it's easy to bend them it's easy to break uh, I'm not worried about the paint right there because all that's going to be covered up anyhow. So, but anyway, 
that's one seal I got the uh, seal on the I guess you call it the trunk up there in the front uh, pretty much done the other day I'm going to try to get this engine seal and uh, I don't know maybe this deck lid seal here I might get it in today too so stay tuned
there's the finished product the uh, firewall seal all finished up and then we go to the engine seal which goes all the way around and uh, that was a little bit of a struggle but uh, and then there's the uh, deck seal so we're good to go back there I believe I'm doing here is kind of having a uh, bad Chad kind of moment um, you know I said I modified the ignition switch instead of in the column it's on the dash uh, it's an aftermarket switch just a lot easier to deal with than this 68 trying to find parts to fit together and when I finally found them they didn't work right so anyway we modified it we're getting ready to try to make a cover for a uh, to cover the a plate to go around just to make the circle a little better than hand cut out uh, on the padded dash so what I got here is I got a, a a piece of pipe it's actually it's off of a weight bench you know the the part that used to swivel when you lift weights back in the 70s probably uh, it's laying around it's actually the perfect size to fit around the key um, it's perfect size to fit around the key and uh, I'm gonna try to make this little plate I'll show you on this camera uh, I'm gonna try to make this plate cut a hole here about an inch and a quarter which is what this is put that together try to weld it up nice make it look nice uh, and then figure out how I'm going to attach it to the to the padded dash to make it look good so that's what we're doing right now time for some cutting hopefully I can cut it straight that marine it's gonna fit on there it's gonna go on the back of this of course I'm gonna cut this down drill a hole for it Try to attach that so it just slides in there up against the dash. This will be the back part, and uh, we'll see how it turns out.
Mm. It's gonna work. Don't do it. Well, it didn't turn out too bad. Uh, I have to figure out whether I want to paint it red, paint it black, chrome it up, or whatever to make it blend in a little bit better. But thanks for joining us.